Hey guys, Silence Sale here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. Before we begin with all the information on Uta Macross, let me do a bit of self promotion for my channel first. So, if you guys are Ghostbusters fans, you should probably know that Ghostbuster Afterlife um, has already been released for theatre viewing and it's going to be only exclusive for the theatres for this time period um, so if you guys are Ghostbusters fans I do have two brand new videos on the channel regarding the franchise of course one of them is me unboxing uh, or rather unpacking the Ghostbusters Afterlife first teaser poster then of course there is also my full review um, technically it's the first for my channel I've never done a review video before on my channel although I technically have written reviews on my Facebook page in the past and of course I think I did it for my Instagram account as well which you should follow <laughs> especially if you want to keep yourself up to date with everything that's going around me aside from Macross and Ghostbusters and anime and all that stuff so Make sure you follow me on Instagram, YouTube, you know, click that subscribe button and all the good jazz. And okay, enough of that self-promotion. Make sure you check out those videos if you guys are interested in it or if you want to find out my, my point of views on um, the movie itself. Make sure you check out that spoiler um, or rather the review video <laughs> later on if you've already watched the movie for yourself. So anyways guys, um, let's talk about what's currently going on in Uta Macross. So I'm sure most of you who have actually started the game um, last night when the server resetted, uh, you probably know that Cheryl Gnome's birthday is coming up. As you can tell, um, her, her birthday banner is here. And of course, the usual stuff you need to do is you have to have Cheryl as a center diva play, of course, the featured song down here. If you don't know what the song is, you can always tap the blue button and the you know the game will just take you directly to the song. So um, aside from the birthday stuff, you, you know, it's just the usual thing. Um, just do what you need to do. And of course, the other thing we need to talk about is this one, which is the Macross Frontier Life Memorial Missions. Um, like in the last few videos, I was telling you that there, there have been new missions added um, to the banner. And as you can tell, there's a lot more new stuff that has been added because technically um, it's one set of missions every day. So basically it's that featured song that they need you to play. Um, so you need to clear it once, then the other one is just basically asking you to full combo it um, with the difficulty of normal or harder. So yeah, so if you guys want to clear this and you should be clearing it because this is technically the only way, I guess, um, to attain these tickets that you can exchange the exclusive episode plate from the Chaos Exchange. Um, so yeah, work hard at it. You know, even though you know the events are currently going on, technically you can choose whichever song you want to play. So it's the best chance right now um, to play all this up, especially if you are trying to power up your Diva in the meantime during this Diva improvement event. So yeah, so. Make sure you do that, and of course take note of the top song titles that you need to clear um, while trying to power up your diva. Alright, so I think that's about it for all the mission stuff, so good luck to you guys to clear both Cheryl's birthday missions and of course um, the Macross Life Memorial missions as well. Let's dive into the gacha page, which is what we are here for. Um, we're gonna discuss about the brand new episode plate for Cheryl Gnome that features uh, Sharon Apples, you know. Costume. <laughs> so let's take a look at the episode plate stats. So 3,775 total score for the plus 25 luck value. So if you're wondering what the episode plate is without the 25 luck, it's technically at 3,525. It's decent, like I said in the past, in you know, the last few videos. All the new episode plates currently releasing out right now hasn't really hit the 3,600 mark. So that's kind of a disappointment but you know episode plates like this usually come with um, more powerful live skills and active skills that kind of sort which is, which is the current trend right now so this episode plate of course focuses on charm which is what you need for the current brand new macross um, plus song so for macross plus friends I'm, I'm glad to say that you finally got a new song for your favorite franchise 
um, or rather the series. So, <laughs> um, but I think most of the Macross Plus players have already long gone quit this game. So it's only the hardcore ones who have been fans of Frontier and Delta, and a bit of Seven. You know, the old school fans are definitely not playing this game. Kind of sad though. But you know. If you guys are old school fans, let me know in the comment section down below if you are those fans from the SDF Macross era up to Macross 2, I guess. Um, because most of the old school fans technically watch up to there, then they ignore Frontier 7 and Delta especially. So, uh, <laughs> don't hate me, you guys. But, you know, it, it just happened to be like this. Um, Alright, center skill, life up. So units, life is boosted by 40%. It's a... Uh, Decent skill, not the best, but you know, I think this episode play is more towards the life skill support. Pay attention to the three other divas that can use the episode play, especially since this ev event right now really focuses on you know a single diva or basara um, and powering them up. So, you know, having a full range of episode plates for their usage is very important at this point of time. So, yes, this, this is crucial. So pay attention to the active skill as well, because this episode plate has the old active skill. For 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100%. So this um, episode plate technically can be a center position episode plate if you don't have a good 7-star uh, episode plate. Considering that the current event song is Macross Plus, we don't have a 7-star episode plate that is under the Macross Plus franchise. Or series so uh, I guess this is the next best best option <laughs> all right live skill uh, short sc short score improvement which is fantastic which is what we actually need more episode plates with such abilities and of course with a variety of the color series so if you guys don't have an episode plate from the pink series or the charm series with the short skill improvement um, it's always good to at least have a few on hand, uh, especially since they are all from different series from the Macross franchise. Um, so let's take a look at the last page to finally determine if this episode play is worth your money or not. Sadly to say, no special notes attachment to it. Um, so with that said, this episode play, like I said, if you don't have enough short song uh, or rather short score ability improvement episode plates this is definitely a must get for Shadow Gnome fans no doubt about it you definitely want to get your waifu's episode plates but aside from that if you're just a casual player should you invest into tossing this tossing your singing stones into this gacha well like I said if you don't have episode plates like these it's definitely a good chance to attain one now so consider that and think about it and you know spend away if you have to <laughs> don't forget that this episode plate technically um gives you a you know or rather this this current event gives you a chance to pull this gacha for free with the event gacha tickets so and yeah the event episode plates you know given free from the event right now also has costume points for cheryl's costume so uh, technically, you don't really have to try too hard to try and attain this episode plate for costume points. But, you know, like I said, the life skill is technically kind of awesome. So, yeah, think hard. <laughs> for me personally, I do have other episode plates with the same life skill and I think I'm okay without it. So, I'm just gonna use the event gacha tickets to pull this time around, saving up the singing stones for future 7 star gachas. And of course, not forgetting that the next featured gacha is Ranka, so she's my waifu, so technically I would like to use my singing stones on that, preferably. So yeah, so with all of this said, let's dive into pulling the gacha. I'm gonna go with the free evening pool first, so yes, you can see the crescent moon there, at the time I'm recording this video. Alright, we do get a bit of a load bar, so that's... Pretty interesting. Maybe today's luck will be a bit better. If it's not good, that's also a good thing, I guess. At least I'm conserving my luck for the seven star pools that's coming up in December. Yeah, it's coming to Christmas very soon, so I'm hoping to see some nice Christmas costume designs. Alright, so it's a pretty rare common plate, so not too bad. 
I think today's luck is pretty okay, but it would be nice, like I said, to conserve the luck if possible. I do have some episode plates that's gonna expire tomorrow, so let's let's do a template pool from the Super Dimension Gacha. If this Gacha pool gets the good luck, I think that's fine too. Okay, we did get a bit of a quick load as well. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, there is a bit of a luck today. Oop, three, two red boxes on the first bling. We do get a red box converted to a rainbow. Alright. Oh, costume points for Ranka's Sailor Swimsuit. <laughs> Is Samu giving the thumbs up? Alright, let's see. Oh! Talking about Christmas! Wow! Okay! So I don't really see a lot of this episode played for Makina. Oh, this is pretty rare for me too. Huh. A lot of episode plates in this gacha pool I don't really see a lot. Ooh. This this episode play of Mirage is making me very excited. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so yeah. It's nice that I get a Makina episode plate to evolve. That's not too bad. Alright, let's take a look. Let's see. Oh, so it's a score up ability. That's not too bad. Which costume does this belong to? Oh, okay. So yeah, still a pretty decent Super Dimension Gacha pool. Um, you know, we didn't get any 7 stars, but at least today's luck isn't bone dry, so that's nice. Alright, so let's move on to the main featured gacha. We're gonna do the single free pool first before we dive into the event gacha ticket pool. Here we go. Yep, today's luck is pretty good. Even the single pool is getting Valkyrie animations. What is this? <laughs> uh, please conserve some luck for at least Ranka's upcoming gacha and the, the December 7 star features. So, hmm. So yeah, even the single free pool is lucky. Oh god. I don't want to use up my luck now. Huh. Well, the last the last gacha video technically became a Cheryl Gnome thing, so... <laughs> I don't know. Is it because it's Cheryl Gnome that's why she's popping out all the luck for me? Alright, here we go. The last pool of the day. Oh, you're getting some load bars as well. Hmm... One, two, three. Oh, no, four, five. That's fine. That's good. That's good, actually. One red box on the first bling. Ooh, three red boxes. Okay. Here we go. Alright, first red box, no evolution. This is definitely not one of the new plates, so that's okay. Here we go, second one. Yep, still old plates of Cheryl. Last red box, and... Yep, all old plates. That's fine, like I said, I, I didn't really want anything fantastic this video. <laughs> but we managed to pull out at least a 5 star episode plate, so that's not too bad. Is this...? Yep, it's an old costume plate, so that's okay. I mean, considering that like I said, um, the event gacha plates from this current event does give costume points for Cheryl's costume. Um, so yeah, you guys don't really have to spend too much on Singing Stones, you know, to try and um, attain costume points for Cheryl's brand new costume. So let's see, I'm gonna change this to Cheryl just to confirm things. Here we go. I like Cheryl, and yeah, there it is. So you can see that you know, it's the costume here, and we have the event episode plate that actually gives the costume points for Cheryl's um, Heaven's Fairy costume. So yeah, that's the name of the costume if you guys are wondering. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this Utame Cross Gacha video. Uh, like I said earlier, if you guys are fans of Ghostbusters like myself, do check out the two videos that I have up on the channel in the future. Um, if the videos do well, I might do more reviews for movies, animes, 
TV shows, you know, that kind of stuff. Just let me know what you're interested for me to review in the comments of the, those review videos. Um, or even the thoughts of those reviews that you guys have seen and watched the movies they belong to. You know, that kind of stuff. And of course, everything else, Old Time Across, you guys can discuss with me in videos like this one. Let me know your thoughts about everything that's going on. Um, did you guys manage to um, get a hold of, uh, I guess, the worldwide uh, memorial <laughs> across Frontier VF25 Valkyrie? Or did you guys buy the High Metal R VF0S uh, Valkyrie as well? Or did you guys order the Ranka Lee and Cheryl Gnome Proplica mics? I personally, I only ordered the microphones, so because I, I don't really like the Valkyries. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but I did order um, Mirage's uh, Kairos from the brand new Macross Delta movie, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So, Anyways guys, thank you guys so much. As always, make sure you do all the wonderful stuff. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below whatever you guys want to talk to me about as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then. Bye!